Hey everybody, Bricklover18 here today with these poly bags. This is a Lego Movie 2 poly bag that I actually just found in my local Walmart. I haven't really seen these before. I know they've been out for a little while now. I I don't know where they even came from, but I did find them at Walmart. At my Canadian Walmart, they were $4.95 each, so a little on the steeper side, but I still thought they were really cool. It is called the Mini Master Building Emmet. It is set number 30529. It's a pretty cool looking poly bag to be fully honest. It is a three in one. So there is there was another three in one poly bag build for the leg movie. I actually built all three models, so I got three copies. And I guess that's what I decided to do here today, because there are the three models, so I wanted to make sure that I got to build the three copies. So we'll set two of them off to the side and we'll open just the one off. Just to kind of see what it looks like. All the pieces are right here. So this might be a 3-in-1, it's kind of a pain in the butt because they only give you instructions for how to build one, and you have to find the other instructions online. And I remember when I first got like the Metal Beards 3-in-1, the instructions weren't actually available, so that was pretty frustrating. So let's hope the other ones, because I actually went to make a video on that one. Uh, I started filming it, and then I like opened up the first poly bag, and then they didn't have the instruction manuals, so I didn't bother making the second two, and then I never actually finished the video. So that's why I'm doing it today. I'm going to build this one up here on camera, it is the first one I guess I should show you before I just start building which one I will be building, but it's going to be this guy right there. So he is a pretty cool poly bag, I would have to say. A bit steep for the $4.95 price at my Walmart, but it also is Canadian dollars. So I take that for granted, but we'll have to see and we'll have to build this up and I will show you all three models in a bit better detail in just a bit. So first model here is all built up. This is what he looks like. I will definitely show you in a bit more detail. And now I'm going to go grab my phone and see if I can find the instructions for these other two models. So I ended up finding them on the LEGO customer service website. They're all right there, no problem. They weren't actually on the website, the lego.com slash buildmoremovie2 or whatever that was. So that's weird, but um, let's open up and start building the other two models. Here we go, we just finished building model number two. I can appreciate this one because it did only come with very few extra pieces, like they're not like some of the other models. And now let's build number three. And here is the third model, all built up, all finished here. As you can see, this one used quite a few less pieces than the other two. But overall, they're still kind of pretty cool models. And let's go to the white backdrop to look at them in more detail. All right, so here is the first model here. I'm not going to go into too much detail talking about it because, let's face it, it's a poly bag. You might already be bored of the video, so I don't want to drag it out too long. But as you can see, the first model here, it's pretty cool. It's like this front end loader. It does swing around. It does do a full 360 swing. And honestly, the wheels, as you can see, it just keeps moving across the screen very fast. The thing is, it's pretty top heavy. It's not really balanced out very well when it's on the bottom. And it just does kind of fall over without too much force. But it, the idea of it is pretty neat. Emmett does fit in there quite nicely. It's a bit taller than him altogether, but I just can't get over how fast it like spins around and how top heavy it is as well. Like it's just it, it's a it's a bouncy thing, and I definitely wouldn't trust this machinery to get on it and you know do some construction work. But that's okay. It's, it is just a Lego set. The next one here, model number two. It is a pretty cool one. This is the like the mech sort of thing. This might have been two or three. I don't even remember. The model here does look pretty cool. As you can see, Emmett is up there. He's all nice and smiley when he's walking around. You can walk around in this one. Even though this one has so many things here at the top, it's not like top heavy in the sense that it's going to make you like fall down. Like it's pretty stable, I would say. Emmett's pretty happy, pretty big smile there. And then on the bottom, he looks like this. Overall, looks very, very cool. I do like this build. 
I think they did a great job. This is definitely my favorite build of the three. I know I haven't even really shown you number two yet, but it's my favorite of the three. And I think it's better than the original build, just for like stability and looks wise. I mean, that one looks cool, but it's just so top heavy and almost looks kind of awkward. Like when you put the two of them side by side, it just looks a little more awkward than the one on the left. I just think like, this one just falls over like this one. This one's stable. This one, I don't get this. this it actually drives me nuts how it keeps falling over, but it's okay. It's a cool poly bag. It's a cool build. It's just, it's top heavy, and that one's really cool. And then, of course, we have the next model here, which is the car. This is like Emmett's car, which is a pretty cool build. On the front, there is lots of detail. As you can see, it's got like the caution stickers, and these plates here are on a slope, so it's not just a very blocky front. It uses some cool building technique there. Emmett looks pretty happy to drive it. On the side, as you can see, the wheels are not on the exact same height which looks pretty cool, gives it a little nice dimension. And then on the back here, it looks, you know, just like a car you a car you could expect. It's pretty cool. I do, I like this poly bag. I think it's a pretty cool one. For $15, because that's what I ended up paying for the three models here, there is only 49 pieces in each set, so it's about $15 for 147 parts, which I guess is pretty lined up for some of the other $15 sets that we have here in Canada, between 150, 200 pieces. It makes sense, not the best build, but I think it's pretty unique, and I don't regret buying this poly bag at all. If you see it, I definitely recommend, hey, maybe picking one or two up. I'm glad I picked up three so I can have the three builds. I mean, this one's still top heavy, but it's still a great build, and I'm glad I picked it up. Very cool. Um, lots of Emmets here. I just see lots of yellow and orange. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this poly bag. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and, of course, subscribe so you don't miss out on all my future videos. I've been trying to do a lot more reviews recently, so you'll have to let me know what you feel and how you feel about that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.